out in front of me. That's why I was <laughs> taking it so personally. Mm-hmm. I am I'm pr- pretty vicious, actually, when I perform live. I go, the hands are out and the, you know, I'm slicing my hands all yeah. around and getting angry. <laughs> we, should, we should mention your guitarist and your pianist. Who do you have with yes, you? Yes, I have um, my lovely Luke here on the guitar. Hello, lovely Luke. Hello. Lovely Hello. Luke. And Rob Barron here on the keys. Hello, Rob. How are you? <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, and that sounded terrific stuff. And the, uh, I always like reading all the uh, the credits on the record, particularly on the first album, because yeah. it's like, this is what I've been waiting to yeah. say. And your family take up a huge amount. And your grandparents oh, yes. and your parents and your uncles and everyone's in there. It's a big, a big Irish thing going on. Do you, know what? Right? Do you know what's so funny? Is that I've, I've seen a lot of um, albums recently and they say, thank you, because this is who's been on the record or whatever and they don't say anybody and that that really upsets me because i think that there's so many people there's so many lives and emotions that go into this um into making a record and i think that it's really you need to say thank you to people and um, because everybody needs to feel the music i mean that's what it's all about really is is it's about feeling music is not about just you know putting something out and it being a hit or whatever whatever it's about you know really relating to it and feeling it and um changing your life almost and I I think that that's what's really important so that's why i was like really adamant that it would never even occur to me for one minute not to thank everybody that's ever been in my life on the record and everybody that's worked on it you know uh, and the the grandparents and the parents and the uncles and us i mean was your house filled with music as you were growing up did they were they musicians themselves did they just have the radio on all the time or what would, what did you grow up listening to i i grew uh, basically my family is a very um it, large irish family and um, they play a lot of um, the irish folk music and uh and also the pokes and things like that. And um, it was all, it, it, music was fun and it was a release. And that's the whole thing. I think that that's what it has to be. And I think that when I was growing up, we always loved listening to music because it was, you know, I grew up in Birmingham and it, it was it was kind of like a real, it, it, I grew up in a Excuse real me, life. You, didn't you grow up in Solihull? Well, Shirley. Right. Well, you know, that's slightly higher class. And I think you need to say that. Well, I think that that's it was quite, that's quite a posh bit. That's all. Yeah. Not so much because my family. Well, well, my grandparents um, came over and they had nothing, and uh, they came over from Ireland and they had nothing, and they they built themselves from the soil almost, and uh, they really worked to get to where they were, and um, that's why they've always been my biggest icons because I love them more than anything, and uh, they really tried to make a life for everybody that's around us and i've got 60 cousins and wow. and everybody and uh, all of us always you know try to work and live live our lives and we always try really hard and and never th- everything with that we do you know right so we got slightly distracted there which is my fault but the so the, the music that you grew up with then was was what so you mentioned the pogues uh, but did you was there old stuff on the radio i mean I, the reason i'm asking is that not only i know i know the song that you're about to play for the uh, for our great british songbook but also your voice sounds so much older than you are Mm-hmm. And I wonder if you've just been immersed in old music a lot. Um, no, because uh, my my family would always play um, younger music. Like my my dad was always obsessed with uh, Nas Barkley Crazy. I remember we used to go on car journeys where he used to play that over and over again when he got that record. Cool dad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he loves great music, and so does my mom. Like they both love great music, but. Um, I was always drawn to the the older kind of sound because I like classic music. I really like classic songwriting, and I love um, classic music. And um, just well, I love well, the emotion. Of it. Um, I love like um, basically if you get some people like um, John Martin or, uh, 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 in a sense, and if you get like Ray Charles, Essie James, um, Howling Wolf, Sisters at the Top, Johnny Cash, Bob Dylan, you you have this kind of like Ray Charles. It's like this sense of emotion and passion that I think a lot of the time in music today you don't get it as a, as much, but I think you do in certain artists. But um, that that to me is something that's like extraordinary, and I really really connected to that as a child, um, just because I loved the the um, emotion of it and I loved the heart of it, and that's what music is about for me. Well, that's a great list of people to uh, to be inspired by. Thank you. So uh, you've mentioned John Martin. Are you going to do a John Martin tune for us? What's uh, what's the attraction of John Martin and which song is it? Well, I think that um, John Martin really is... It, it, uh, this is the great English songbook and um, John Martin is a genius lyricist. And uh, this song is called Couldn't Love You More and it's so emotional and I really hope that I give it the justice... 
justice that it deserves because um, he's really, really is a genius. OK, singing live on Radio 2 is Claire Maguire. See, I'm a little confused because with your first song you said you could no longer love me and now you've told me that you couldn't love me more. So, <laughs> so which is it? Both. Okay. Uh, it's a great song. Uh, John Martin's song sung by Claire Maguire. Her album is Light After Dark. Some of your uh, fans have been on some listeners saying these things. I saw Claire supporting the script. She was brilliant. I downloaded her album as soon as I got home. That's Justin. I saw Claire live in Manchester. She is amazing. Karen and Emma in Salford. Simon, I think Claire sounds like Annie Lennox on one track and Shakira on another. She's superb and was recommended to me by Adrian McLean, who knows her parents, says John Woodward, as the Irish family extends further and further. What's the, if you've got a great family on your side, they're spreading the word, aren't they? They're out there. Uh, awesome. Sounds like Elkie Brooks and Bonnie Tyler. Uh, another reference here. Florence and the Machine uh, thinks Claire in Dorset, who says that she spells her Claire correctly and you spell it incorrectly. Oh, with no eye. And Kathy in West Yorkshire, another comparison with... A, she says, back in the early 90s, there was a group called Horse. I had two of their albums, listened to them all the time, and when I hear Claire's songs like Shield and the Sword, it reminds me of the lead singer's voice in Horse. Is there any connection? Have you ever heard of them? Yes. And what do you think of Kathy's suggestion? Well, I think I'm very honoured to sound like that. But... And now I'm regretting the fact that when you came in, did your sound check before the show, I said, you, you reminded me of June Tabor, one of the great 
great British folk singers. Because you just supposed to get this all the time with people saying, really like the record, you sound just like dot, dot, dot. And I'm never going to do that again, so I can only <laughs> apologise. Do you get that? Does that happen? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people tell me that I sound like different people. And um, I just hope that, it, you know, it happens to a lot of people that first coming out. And uh, I just hope that eventually I'll be able to be kind of individual and stuff. Well, yes, but you have to say that all those singers that have been mentioned apart from Horse, because I can't recall them, uh, were extraordinary, absolutely uh, yeah, extraordinary voices. Exactly. So if that's who you're being thought of in the same breath as, then it's not bad for a first Exactly, record. exactly. I'm really, really happy and really honoured that people, that's 